Hi and welcome in this video. Today I talk about how you can take amazing photos in spring. Spring is a beautiful time of the year, if not the most beautiful time. I prefer autumn, but spring is pretty cool as well, um, because you get a lot of flowers, you get a lot of nice colors, it gets warmer, you can go outside again, and it's just an amazing time to take photos. I have some tips for you, how you can take better photos, and as well, some ideas what you can actually photograph. Tip number one is to get a very low perspective, because usually it looks cooler when you are down at the ground and you play a bit with sharpness, with focus, with a blurry background, with maybe some nice flowers, with maybe some nice yeah, animals, some insects um, that are out in spring again, or just a wonderful blooming flower. But usually when you photograph from top, what most of the people do when they take out their phone or something, they photograph like this, Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. But better is to just go down, 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 down till you're out of the frame and then just take a nice image from maybe even down to up in the sky. And that looks amazing. Because sometimes you get nice bokeh and just nice effects and just the perspective is cool. And it's cool as well to just lay down at the ground a bit. Tip number two is use an open aperture, maybe some 50 mm 1.8 lens, because with that you get that nice blurry background. When you start photographing with your phone, the images won't look that amazing. But when you use a nice open aperture, maybe fixed focal length, like the 50 1.8, or maybe even a macro lens or something, or just some other lens with an open aperture, um, you can even use your kit lens, zoom in a bit, and bend down a bit then just like I said with the perspective get some nice blurry background with that and that looks always amazing. Oh, and when we talk about macro photography, number three, use a macro lens for macro photography, not only for nice blurry backgrounds, but as well for little tiny insects, maybe the inside of a flower, maybe just those Blow flowers. How are they called in English? I have no idea. In German they are Pusteblume, Pusteblow, Pusteflower. I have no idea what it's called in English. Write it in the comments below. So just take that and just do maybe uh, by yourself or just do a macro of those nice structures of those flowers. They are all over here in the area. I did some nice shots already today with that. And yeah, then go down again from bottom to top and take some amazing photos with that. And my last tip for you is look for some beautiful flowers, maybe at some trees, maybe cherry trees or maybe apple trees, or here are some mandarin trees or orange trees, and they have some nice flowers. And those flowers you can photograph perfectly with the setting sun or a very low sun. And then just take the flower, close your aperture, and you don't need now a very open aperture lens or a longer lens, you can do it with like ever lens you want to use. And then just close your aperture till you are at f18, f16, f20, f22 and then just put the sun next to the flower in the edge and you get a nice sun star at the corner and that usually looks amazing and is a perfect um, uh, spring photo to just photograph. Do you have some more tips for spring photos? Write it in the comments below or do you want me to do one of the tips I just talked about in a more detailed video? Just write it in the comments below. And quick commercial if you want to learn more about photography, especially landscape photography, check out learnfromben.com. This is my website, there we get courses about uh, landscape photography, image editing with Photoshop and Lightroom, video editing, video filming, bunch of stuff, great courses you can download directly on your computer, learn everything you need to know and just choo, start in the world of photography or filmmaking or image editing. Learn from Ben.com. I see you in the next video, hit thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, tell your mother, brother, father and uh, dog about this great YouTube channel and yeah, see you next time. Bye bye!